Hi, I'm uh, Terje Rellvog, and on behalf of Kjell Bengtsson and me, I want to welcome you to this presentation. Uh, the title is How to Integrate Cloud-Based IoT, CPS, to Simulation and Testing Processes Using ISO 10303 and Digital Twin-Based Crane Monitoring. We have divided the presentation in four parts and we'll start with a short introduction to the ISO 10303 step standards and we will focus especially on an extension of AP209. Secondly, we will introduce you to the Arrowhead IoT CPS open source framework. And the final part uh, of the presentation will be two real world digital twin examples. First, the mountain bike experiment, and then the Gunnerus ship and its crane, both fully utilizing standards in all aspects. Most of you have heard about the ISO 10303 step standard, which was introduced already in 1994, primarily to exchange 3D CAD models, and today more than 80% of such data exchange processes are using STEP. However, using the newer version of the STEP data models, you can do much more than 3D CAD models. You can store requirements, PLM data and kinematics, as well as simulation data like load cases, meshes, materials, and FEM results. As seen from this slide, you can now also include sensor data directly to the 3D model to obtain correlations between simulation results, test and operational data. These capabilities has been documented in a recent PhD work here at NTNU. To the right, you see some of the software tools that have been utilized in the project. Here you see the Arrowhead Tools dashboard, which can display uh, lots of sensor data. And in this example, you see the Gunnerus ship motions, as well as output from some of the sensors on board. Uh, this uh, dashboard is provided by a Norwegian partner called Tellu, and the dashboard is called Grafana. The bike experiment is one digital twin case in the Arrowhead Tools project, where we are using uh, step data to transfer data between sensors and the models and the cloud. Uh, the, in this example, we use the Arrowhead Tools dashboard to display data from the bike during ride and handling. We can display uh, velocities, accelerations, the frame angles, and also stresses and strains from the bike frame. This uh, example is also a case in a new NTNU course. Another digital twin implementation in the Arrowhead Tools project is the Gunnerus ship and its Paul Finger crane. We can use the dashboard to display all kinds of sensor data from the real physical asset uh, in real life, as well as we can do structural health monitoring of the crane. So in this example, you see the crane is moving based on sensor data from the crane. And then from the digital twin, we can output a strain and stress time histories to do structural health monitoring. The CAD model that we used in the digital twin setup was created in NX. It was meshed there, and then we exported an assembly mesh to FEDEM, where we added joints, springs, dampers, hydraulics, and control systems in order to make a digital uh, representation of the physical asset as accurately as possible. And then we hooked the physical and digital twin together in August 2020. And then uh, we used an IoT gateway to transfer sensor data from the physical crane via the Arrowhead Tools dashboard via Python scripts that clean the sensor data into the FEDEM simulation model here. And the simulation model is running twice as fast as the physical crane, even though we had 3.6 million degrees of freedom. Uh, we can also do stress calculations from all parts uh, for any event or time incident which we find is critical based on some event triggers. Okay, this was just a fast summary of our presentation that Kjell Bengtsson and I will make at the 36th International CIE conference later this month. If you find the topics interesting, please watch our full presentation there. Thanks.